Imagine trying to update the description across all the videos on your YouTube channel. It would take days or even weeks, especially if they have over a thousand videos like my channel. In this video, you'll learn how to change the descriptions or titles across all the videos on your YouTube channel within a few seconds using TubeBuddy. Here's before and after the changes have been made. I'll also show you how to save time for future uploads by setting default upload settings and how to create multiple upload default profiles using TubeBuddy. My goal is to update the social media links in the descriptions of all the videos on my channel. Here's how to use the search and replace feature of TubeBuddy. Click on the content tab in YouTube Studio. At the top, if you've got TubeBuddy installed, click bulk and miscellaneous tools. Click find and replace. In the action tab, you have a choice to find and replace the text, insert after the text, insert before the text, remove and delete text, add text to end of description, insert text at beginning of description, and replace the entire description. Check the box for descriptions. If you're replacing a the title, then check the title box and leave out the one for descriptions. Here's a hot tip when creating your video description. Give an overview of your video content using natural language and include keywords at the beginning of your description. You can also check case sensitive or include partial word matches. Here's an example of what you can do. You can find the text like a link and replace it with a different link. Here's before and here's after. And find text, I'll replace these three lines in my video description across all the videos on my channel. I wanna replace it with these three lines, which are the updated links for my social media sites. I only wanna change description, so I'm just gonna check descriptions, click continue. It says, which videos would you like to search for the text? I wanna search a full list of all my videos, or I can check the box that says, only load my most recent 50 videos, which would be faster a list of video IDs that I specify, or all videos within one of my playlists. And the last one, search a list of videos that match my search phrase below. So I'm gonna leave it checked. I wanna search a full list of all my videos. Click continue. It says rendering videos on screen. This can take a few seconds. Here's all the videos on my channel where I can change the description. So I can filter show all videos, only public videos, unlisted, private, public and unlisted videos, private and unlisted videos. I'm gonna select only public videos, click all. I have 302 videos selected where I can change the description in a few seconds. Here's a summary of the changes. Please confirm that you wanna find the text, connect with me on social media, and video descriptions, and replace it with the text, connect with me on social media, and then these updated links. Check the box that says yes, do it, click start. Now it's updating the descriptions of all 302 videos on my YouTube channel. It says processing complete, videos completed successfully, 302. Here's the original text for the description of this video. Here's the updated video description when viewed on my phone. All the descriptions of 302 videos were updated in a few seconds using TubeBuddy. I'll place a link to TubeBuddy in the description below this video. Now you know how to update links, Add hashtags or change the entire description of all the videos on your channel. Here's how to change the title of a single video on your channel, but you also have the option of editing the titles of all videos on your channel. For example, I want to replace the date on this video from 2021 to 2022. Here's a hot tip when creating your video titles. Create a catchy title that hooks your viewers and supports your video thumbnail. Include keywords your audience is likely to use when looking for videos like yours. For a single video, just grab the video ID that I see here, go to your channel content in YouTube Studio, click on Bulk and Miss Tools, click Find and Replace, select the action that you wish to take. I'm gonna select Find and Replace Text. Find the text, so I'm gonna do 2021. Replace the text with 2022. I'm just gonna select Titles, click Continue. Which videos would you like to search for in the text? I'm gonna check a list of video IDs that I specify. Enter my video ID in here. Click continue. Now it's found the video that I wanna replace the title for. Select all to grab the title for this one. Or if you wanna replace the titles of multiple videos on the channel, then select all and I'll select all those ones. Filter will be show all videos, only public videos, unlisted, private, public unlisted, private unlisted. So I'm gonna select only public videos. Click continue. Please confirm that you want to find the text 2021 in the video titles and replace it with the text 2022 
in the video that you selected. Click Start, check Yes, do it, click Start. Processing complete, video is completed successfully. Click Done. Now I'm going to check the video. Reload the page, and now the title has been changed from Best Time to Upload YouTube Videos 2022. As you can see, it only takes a few seconds to search and replace the descriptions and titles across all the videos on the YouTube channel. Upload defaults are settings that are applied to all of your video uploads. This will save you a ton of time because you can create a default description that will be applied to all your future uploads. This means you won't have to create a new description every time you upload a new video. You can choose defaults for your video privacy setting, category, title, tags, language, and more. Keep in mind that these upload default settings only affect videos that are uploaded through the browser on your computer. If you upload videos using a mobile app or the YouTube video editor, it won't respect your default settings. Click on Settings on YouTube Studio, then click on Upload Defaults. Under Basic Info, you can set a default title, which I don't recommend. Under Description, you can set a default description, which will be the same for every single video you upload, but you can also edit it for an individual video. You can also set a default visibility, such as unlisted as I have here, and also set default tags. Under advanced settings, you can also set defaults for all of these. Under monetization, you can also set the default type of ads that you want displayed on your videos. YouTube only allows you to create one set of upload defaults, but with TubeBuddy, you can create multiple upload default profiles. For example, if you create videos about the new iPhone, then you can set upload default profiles for that specific video. You can also apply these profiles to existing videos. Here's how to do it. Next to upload defaults, click new. Please enter a name for the new profile. So I'm gonna call it slideshow tips, then click okay. You can enter a title, which I wouldn't recommend. Add a description, slideshow tips for creating video slideshows on YouTube, visibility, check unlisted, add your tags here, click save. It says your profile was successfully created. Click OK. I can delete this profile or I can create a new one. And here it shows up in the profiles under upload defaults. This means I can select this profile for any new videos that I upload. Here's how to apply a new upload default setting for a specific video that you're uploading. Click on the TubeBuddy icon, it says reuse details. Under upload defaults, check slideshow tips. Click apply. It says apply metadata and upload settings from slideshow tips. Now you can see that the description has slideshow tips for making video slideshows on YouTube. And in tags, I've also got slideshow tips. This is helpful for creating a different description or set of tags based upon the type of video that you're uploading to YouTube. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting little or no views on YouTube videos? If that's a yes, watch the video on the screen right now on why my YouTube video is not getting views and how to fix it.